सुनिए देश विदेश की सैर कारवा 2.0 पॉइंट ओ पर हाई दिस इज उत्कर्ष एंड वेलकम टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ स्टोरीज टूडे वी टॉक अबाउट अ ग्रीक स्टोरी अ वेल नोन ग्रीक स्टोरी विच इज एक्सट्रीमली रेलिवेंट इन मॉडर्न टाइम्स द स्टोरी इज द फॉल ऑफ फेथॉन फेथॉन वॉज द सन ऑफ ग्रीक सन गॉड हिलियोस एंड क्लाइमेन क्लाइमेन अ मॉडल फ्रॉम इथियोपिया Since Helios had a tough job of driving the sun from across one end to the other end every day in his chariot Phaeton stayed with his mother on earth once one of his friends laughed at him when he said that he was the son of Helios and refused to believe him later his mother too showed him about it but he would not believe his doubt took him to the heavens one day where he found himself in the presence of the mighty Helios who was bright and radiant and so was his palace with lofty pillars of gold and bronze all shining like burning fire when phaeton asked helios if he was really his father helios agreed and assured him about it helios went a step further by announcing to all in his palace that phaeton was indeed his son Seeing that the sun had not quite been assured Helios told Phaeton that he was willing to do anything to prove his paternity and to that effect he can ask for anything from him and he would do it On hearing this Phaeton asked to drive his father's chariot for a day Helios realized that he had erred made a mistake and tried to convince him out of his demand Helios explained to him that the chariot was no ordinary chariot as it was fiery hot and the horses breathed fire so much so that even Zeus the king of all gods could not control the chariot but Phaeton would not relent and having made a commitment Helios could not go back on his word even though he realized his folly of hasty commitment so with a heavy heart he allowed him to take the chariot out the next day <clears throat> the chariot was truly majestic it had axle and pole made of gold and so were the wheels of gold with silver spokes the yoke was set with jewels and the horses which were fed on ambrosia were breathing fire ready to charge helios applied an ointment on phaeton to protect him from the intense heat that he would be subjected to and advised him to tread the middle path not to drive it too low towards the earth or high towards the sky as night had retreated on the western end and dawn was breaking in and it was time for the sun to appear on the horizon so helios bade his son goodbye phaeton took hold of the reins and charged but this was no ordinary chariot and nor was he used to holding such heavenly horses soon the chariot was beginning to get out of control it went too high towards the skies drawing up all the clouds seeing this he plunged the chariot down towards the seas but it only ended up drying the waters when poseidon the lord of the seas saw this he came out to warn the chariot but the uncontrolled charge towards him made him plunge deep into the sea with the casualties of dead sea creatures which upset Poseidon to no end the chariot burnt up forests melted down ice cap mountains and it is said that it went too close to modern day ethiopia supposedly to have his friend get a closer look on him and the chariot the people there became dark since the heat drew the blood to the surface of the body of the people there it is also said that it went so close to the modern day libya that the area became a desert and the river nile was so scared that it went and hid its head in the earth which is hidden till date earth was in flames the waters had dried up and the sky was scorched the gods came out and appealed to zeus to stop the menace zeus seeing no option hurled his thunderbolt and brought down the chariot and the chariot to the ground and soon all was well but helios lost a son Helios was sad but he realized his folly too. The myth leaves us with a very important lesson. One, Helios shouldn't have made a promise without thinking 
about its ramifications. Two, he should not have allowed his responsibility to become a juvenile sport. Driving the chariot across the sky was an important responsibility and Phaeton was neither experienced nor capable of handling it. He was too young to even understand the gravity of his father's responsibility, which for him was a matter of adventure or misadventure as it turned out to be. To quote Joseph Campbell, the well-known author and mythologist, he says, and I quote, the tale, that is the tale of Phaeton, of indulgent parenthood illustrates the antique idea that when the roles of life are assumed by the improperly initiated, chaos supervenes, unquote. If you have enjoyed the story, then do come back for more of such interesting myths from across the world of mythology. Till then, let me listen to my favorite song and you listen to yours on Saregama Karva. Thank you. Do you know